Hey there, are you coding on BigCommerce and you're trying to figure out how to target your CSS, or your JavaScript uh, to a specific page or category or whatever? Uh, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to go over body classes that I think are key and killer for BigCommerce. Uh, this will be a little bit Cody, but if this is what you're looking for, you are in the right place. Uh, before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner, and I run the e-commerce growth community for store owners just like you and me. Uh, come join it even if you're a developer and you know every week I post more e-commerce videos so if you find this one helpful like uh, or subscribe and hit the bell so that you can see more stuff like this uh, we're not you know I'm not Cody every every uh, every video but in this one we're gonna be a little bit code here and uh, show you guys a little bit of what is possible all right let me share my screen and oh yeah that's me I'm Cal all right, let me share my screen for real now. Okay, so I'm logged into this store here and I'm on a pre-made theme. I want to show you how to add these body classes. And first, let me actually show you the body classes that we're going to use. Uh, so these are them. So there's several different uh, things that I commonly target and I want to be able to target like the type of page this is, like is it a page or is it a post or is it a category? This right here will tell me that uh, as a body class and uh, it's gonna make sense when I show you this on the page. Now I prepend all of my body classes with something that uh, talks about the type of body class that it is. Uh, so this is for two, two reasons. Number one, that I can really easily and clearly see from the body class itself, what type of class it is, but also to prevent it from conflicting with, uh, you know, code that may already be there. For example, if I just put a page type in as a body class, then on a product page, it's going to give you a body class of product. Uh, but guess what? There's already classes on that page called product. And so the CSS can go a little bit haywire when now the body is classed as product as well as something else on the page. And so by adding these prepins, it just really reduces the chances of anything existing conflicting with what we're putting on the page uh, while making it a little bit easier for you to see, you know, what this type of data is anyway. So take it from my experience and prepend it with this or something like this. So this will output the type of page, the, you know, category, product, default, home, you know, page, page, you know, that kind of stuff that this is what's going to. Uh, be put on the page when that happens. Now the rest of these are a little bit more conditional and they're only going to come up in certain scenarios. And so I've surrounded these with if statements to say like in this first one, if there's a customer group name present, meaning that if there is no customer group name present, if they're not logged in as something with a customer group, then this body class isn't going to show up at all. Just kind of makes it a little bit cleaner. Uh, because if there wasn't a customer group name present, then when this piece of it fires, it would just say customer group dash and then have nothing after it, which looks kind of weird. So by putting the if statement in, it just makes it a little bit more elegant and will only put the customer group name in there if they have a customer group name. Now, um, that's that explains the if statement here that's you know the before and after here's the actual body class that we're putting in so this one says customer group dash and then we have stencil code and within that stencil code it's going to fire the customer group name now technically the customer group name is not this it's this right here so customer dot customer group name is what outputs the customer group name but Let's say we have a customer group name called retail space customers, right? So when we end up having this prepin there and adding it, adding this to it, it's going to say customer group dash retail with a capital R space customers. So this customers isn't technically part of the class. It's just going to be a separate class hanging off the end of you know, dot customers, which that's not good. And this could again conflict, but it's also going to make it a little bit weird for you to target because you're going to be targeting customer group dash retail when the customer group is really called retail dash customers. And if you had, you know, another group that was like retail, you know, other customers, 
then that's going to say, you know, customer group dash retail other customers. And so you can see that these two groups will be targeted under the same class. So that's where our friend dash case comes into play. What it's going to do is it's going to take this retail customers and it's first of all going to uh, translate it all to lowercase. So it just takes the caps out of the equation and it takes this space and it turns it into a dash. And so what this would do is put that on the page as customer group dash retail dash customers. And, um, you know, the other one would be customer customer group dash retail dash other customers like that. So you can see that makes it all part of one long customer. Uh, I'm sorry, one long body class. But it's, you know, it's only one body class. It's not split out because of the spacing fixes the spacing, fixes the caps, and makes it just kind of all nice and clean. So that's what that dash case does. So by putting you know, each one of these scenarios in an if statement, keeps it nice and clean, only shows up when, it's, when it should show up, and using dash case takes out any you know, caps and spaces, making it just really, really nice. Now there's also you know, other types of casing in BigCommerce like camel casing. Um, you know, we've just arrived at dash case as the easiest and best solution consistently. So these are the, the classes that I that I use. So we first of all have page type. We have the customer group name if present. We have the product ID if present. So this is only going to fire on a product page because, you know, a category page isn't going to have a product ID. Neither would an about page, for example. Um, page dot title. So this is only going to fire on... Um, well, a couple templates really. I think it'll fire on like the contact template or the, yeah, I think it's called the contact template. It'll also obviously fire on a page template. Um, it's not gonna fire on your category uh, templates or your product page templates. So basically, you know, for most of your store, if it's not a category page or a product page or a cart page, this is going to totally fire and put it in the title of the page. And again, this dash case. Now we don't have dash case in the product ID one because that's actually gonna be a number not, you know, letters and there's no need for a space or capitalization with numbers. So we just don't need dash case. Um, if, if there's a category name present, so this is only going to fire on the category name and it's going to output category dash category name uh, in dash case. Um, I always put this one in here too, the category ID. Um, I typically will target most of my anything off of the category ID because your ID is not going to change. Whereas you may at some point change the name of a category slightly, which could throw off anything that's targeted the category name. But I usually put both of these on here um, anyway, because these are just like my, my standard things I like to see after you know doing this for a dozen years. And then we have one more here for if brand.name, and that's gonna say brand dash, whatever the brand name is. Um, you can obviously do more than these. Um, these are the ones that I do. And um, also one other thing to note here is I include a little space here inside the if statement so that if it does fire, it automatically adds a space uh, after whatever the last, the last guy is. So let's take out, let's make this all be one line. And yeah, all right. So we're gonna copy this in. We're gonna come back here to our stencil file editor. So we, again, I open this stencil up. Uh, feels like an hour and a half ago <laughs> before I started explaining what the classes are. Uh, the place where we're going to put this in your theme, there should be the same file in every big commerce theme, and it's under templates, layout, base.html. So this is your parent most container, and you're going to come in here to where it says body, and this stuff isn't usually here by default, and so I'm just going to pretend like it wasn't here. You guys didn't see anything, and you'll type body class equals quote quote and then paste in that digest here and save and apply and once this is done saving we'll go look at it on the front end and see what we see All right, we're going to inspect. 
we look at the body here and it says class class equals page type dash default so that's the that's the page type of the home page specifically let's go to a category page and now we have a couple more a couple more body classes so it says class equals page type dash category so if you were going to target you know all of the category pages specifically you could target that and say background equals pink and then this would be something that hits all of the category pages at the same time now this category says category uh, dash the dash basics so you can see that's the one that outputs the title on the line and then there's an additional class here for category dash 43 so that's the category id so if we typed uh, page type dash category that's going to target all of the category pages whereas if we type just cat category dash 43 this would make just this one category pages um, background be pink so you can see um, you know there's some pretty fine targeting you could do with this now if you're not Cody I know that I've been super Cody up to now but this is what you need to know is that whatever theme that you're on if you add these body classes you know look at all the different ways that you can target um, you know your CSS or JavaScript or whatever you could identify which individual category we're looking at and say treat just the the basics category different by targeting this class or this class now let's say we go into sanitation you know and you can see same thing page type dash category so that was common across all categories but now category dash sanitation brings in the title and category dash 50 means that this is a different um, you know category id if we go into um, let's go into a product page now And now you see here on this product page, page type dash product is targetable and, and product ID dash 6121 would be the ID for just this one product, which is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else. I mean, really like that's it. That's, that's the category. I mean, that's the, that's the body classes you need pretty much. Um, I wish they were all standard like that on all themes, but they're not in fact, those don't really come on any themes, but once you put them in there, you know, if you know a little bit of CSS and a little bit of, you know, JavaScript, man, you can, you can target just about anything, you know, anything on any page with this. So, you know, I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Hopefully this, you know, made it really easy. I will try and uh, paste these body classes that I use into the, uh, the YouTube description here below the video. Hopefully I remember if I don't leave me a comment <laughs> me know to put them in there but um yeah hope take that use them you know make it really easy on yourself uh by the way join our community here at joinecommercegrowth.com and if you need a developer feel free to reach out to me at epicdesignlabs.com i really appreciate your time uh, leave me a comment let me know what you guys are going to do let me know what you're struggling with and maybe that'll be my next video thank you so much bye